Uh, programming 301, Lesson 7, Actor Properties, no new code blocks, no new vocabulary, just some new concepts using some of the stuff that we've used before. Um, we're going to learn how to peek at other actors and how to rotate your actor. So we're going to look at property of an actor. You can access another actor's properties um, from a different actor. And to do this, we will use um, this block that they're going to show you, costume number of, and it names the um, other actor. So it'll tell me which number he's on and what the name of that costume is. So if I click through Cody and cycle through them, you can see, just like we did with the wizard in the last lesson, not only can we look through what we're wearing for our costume, but what other actors have for their costumes as well. And then we can turn um, a actor and fully rotate the actor clockwise or counterclockwise. Clockwise is to the right, counterclockwise is to the left. And you can adjust any degrees that you want. So if we turn Cody and keep clicking this, this is clockwise, Clockwise, counterclockwise is to the left. In detecting the fireball, you're going to add code to allow the ghost to deflect the fireball. So you're going to be um, having the program turn around when it runs into the ghost, as long as the ghost is using its first costume. Again, we're going to be looking at that first costume and um, deciding based on that if we're going to deflect or not. So it tells you exactly what to do. Not a hard one. And deflect the fireball too. And this one, you're um, a knight instead of a ghost, and the knight can fight back and deflect the fireball, but only if he strikes it with his sword at the right moment. So you're going to program it so that the knight deflects only at that specific time. So you're going to look to see which costume he's at, and um, if his costume is at um, less than number nine, because everything less than nine will allow him to... Um, will look appropriate for him to have been fighting um, that that fireball um, and defeat the trolls so the directions for the defeat the trolls come by really fast you really have to be looking at it to catch it um, so if you think back, so you'll tell you right here these little things that you're looking at. The night attack costumes are 10 through 17, and the fireball should deflect randomly between 150 and 210 degrees, and they go so fast on that. So I want you right away to pull out and listen to that. That night costume um, needs to be greater than 9. So he has costumes 1 through 17. You want a costume that's greater than 9. And then the random number that you're going to use is 150 to 210. So here's exactly what you're looking for. When touching night occurs, if the costume number of the night is greater than 9, then you want to check to see if 18 is greater than the costume number of 19. If that's true, then you're going to turn and pick a random number between 150 and 210 to deflect that fireball. Finally, um, before your quiz, you have Fireball Tennis. And in this project, you're going to program the fireball to deflect off of each character. So um, you're going to want to make it so that regardless of which character, you're kind of going to play tennis with the fireball. So if the... Um, you can pick whichever key you want um, to make them... Um, deflect it. I think they give you some suggestions in here of what they want you to do. So um, the fireball's already been coded um, to start in the center and bounce around. So you're going to use this fireball deflect off the knight sword right here. Um, and then here's the one for the Val um, Kyrie, and it tells you what your stuff should look like. And then you will play it. 
This is like the easiest one that you will get. I think the level before this was harder than that. When you go to pull this code over, make sure you're clicking on the knight and putting the knight's code in there and the Valkyrie and putting that code in here. So then you need to complete the quiz.